Hey everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back. So, happy Halloween everybody. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today is my anime day. This isn't gonna be a very Halloween-y episode, which makes me a big weenie, I guess. So maybe I'll make November Halloween month or something. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. But for now, I'm gonna be continuing on in my Makoto Shinkai review series, which has been Hmm, delayed. <laughs> delayed for a very long time, but it's back. I did not uh, forget. Of course I wouldn't forget something like that, because I'm a big Makoto Shinkai fan. So the next uh, movie of his that I'm going to be reviewing, a movie that I, uh, hmm, maybe I don't want to spoil it just yet, but that movie is going to be The Garden of Words. So let's see what I thought. In Garden of Words, 15-year-old Takao Akizuki finds himself cutting classes during Japan's rainy season and keeps running into 27-year-old Yukari Yukino in a shelter in the park. Could a relationship develop between the two of them, or is that out of their hands? As usual, time becomes a big theme, particularly in the age difference between our two protagonists. This is something Shinkai has always been known for, and something that he's incorporated basically into all of his films in some shape or form. I find that his knack for noise is just totally unparalleled. However, this time I personally didn't connect with Garden of Words as much as some of his other works, partially because of its minimal buildup and generally, dare I say, <laughs> uninteresting characters. While I loved this film for its incredible visuals, easily the most beautiful he's done thus far, the sense of longing I get from his films was missing this time around, leaving me feeling uninspired by its themes. So what I find particularly interesting about this is the fact that I actually went through this. I went through this loss of love due to an age difference when I was younger, when I was 16 actually. So long story short, although this isn't going to be very short because I tend to be very long-winded, <laughs> as you might know in my other reviews and content and stuff, but uh, when I was 16, I fell in love with this guy that I met. If he's watching this video, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, uh, but he's a good friend of mine now, but he's someone that he was just too old for me But he's someone that I really cared for a lot and really respected because he inspired me so much He taught me a lot in terms of music in terms of films. I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for this guy He's amazing and he's a very good friend of mine now, but there was definitely a point where he totally broke my heart because he told me look I'm, I'm too old for you and I know, I know that when people talk about this, uh, this dynamic between uh, Yukari and Takao, it's kind of creepy, but I don't find it creepy, especially when you're in that position, when you feel that inspired by someone who's older than you, and you start developing a crush on them, or a love, or an infatuation, or some sort of affection towards them. It's, uh, it's very easy to confuse admiration for actual love. And I feel like what I had for my friend was a lot more admiration than anything else. But of course, when you are at that age, everything is just that much more intensified, right? So it's uh, it's interesting how this didn't really connect with me considering I did go through something like this, but I just don't feel that those two characters were very memorable. I felt like overall the experience really felt short, which is really unfortunate in my eyes. If you're a Shinkai fan, or if you're looking for a very brief slice of life, or if you're looking for something extremely visually stimulating, this is... yeah, you have to. This is mandatory. This is absolutely mandatory, even if it is for visuals alone. Now, while this movie didn't meet my expectations, it did at least have that visual payoff, and has the most beautiful visuals of all of Shinkai's works to date. What I can say, however, is the fact that with someone like Shinkai, at least I know that I have an utmost respect for what he does, even if I don't necessarily connect with everything that he does either. So I really hope you enjoyed my review of Makoto Shinkai's Garden of Words. I hope you stay tuned for much more anime content coming up soon. I'm going to try and do this on a weekly basis. But yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts of the movie, what you liked, what you didn't like, and some of your other favorite Shinkai films, and what you think I should review next in terms of Shinkai. I think that's going to be going out to Voices of a Distant Star, but I'm really curious to see what you think I should review after that, perhaps. Right? So I hope you have a great day, I hope you have a great Halloween, and I'll see y'all later, okay? Alright, peace!